meeting is called to order. I'm asking for additions to the agenda. I have just a little comment under other business about um, another use of my time. I'll make it short at the end of the meeting. But if I put it out there now, people will help me remember. Okay, seeing no further additions to the agenda, review of minutes for September 11th, 2023. I have uh, one comment on these otherwise excellent uh, minutes. Um, there was a Renee who was remotely publicly attending, and her last name was Carpenter. Ah, thank you. Yes. Yeah, I believe she didn't have her last name on, right. on there, and she wasn't showing her face. So it may have been difficult to tell. But she appears not only in the record of remote public attendance, but... She, her comments are cited a number of times in the minutes. Howdy. Good evening. You're here before the first vote. Oh, I'll make good. a motion to accept the minutes. Um, okay, motion. Oh. Uh, as, a, as amended, okay. We are moving to accept the minutes as amended from last meeting. Do you have any comments on the minutes? Nope, they look good. Okay, yep. all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, motion appears to pass, motion passes. Over to you, Seth. All right. Next item is public comment. I don't hear anything. Move to the next item. Conversation with the Funding Request Study Committee. We're a little early. Yeah, I was about to say we're a little early. Kimberly is actually here for that agenda item. I'm not sure if anyone else will be attending, but um, so. So should we, we can fit something else in. No, there isn't much. Yeah, there isn't much. Like more, there was no other business? Like motion to adjourn, is that what you want to do? <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, can, I, I had a quick addition to the agenda that I was going to put last, but I can put it out here now. Yeah, let's do it now. Sure. So yeah. I, I just got word uh, officially today, actually, I guess I, Friday, uh, but I got today a list of the people who are running for Hunger Mountain Co-op Council. I am one of those. And uh, you may recall that... Uh, when I've done it in the past, um, both boards were meeting on the first Monday of the month and, and uh, that interfered, uh, but they are in a conversation amongst themselves about moving to some other date than the first Monday of the month. So uh, my intention is to withdraw my candidacy if they do not move it. So I just wanted to let you guys know in case you heard something and uh, you'd be informed of your comment. But we we'll definitely let you know if we heard something. Yeah. Right. Because <laughs> that's big news. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Carl. Sure. Uh, that didn't take up much time. That didn't. No. <laughs> Do we have anything else? I have something uh, I'd like to say. Uh, I guess this would have fallen under public comment, but I just wanted to say it's my last meeting taking mm -hmm. minutes for you guys, and I wanted to thank you guys for the opportunity to do this and I wanted to also say that I think so highly of all of you and I really appreciate the thought that you bring to these meetings. Well, wow. that is a lot of nice things that you said. Yeah, yeah well, I do believe them. <laughs> <laughs> but we believe them. We'd like you to stay. <laughs> we like to stay. Well, well, yeah, we'd like you to stay. In the spirit of full disclosure, we were talking before you came in about what a, a wonderful contribution that you made. Yes. Oh, uh, and uh, we forgot to bring a cake. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we really uh, are going to miss you. We really are. I mean, that's not even BS. Yeah. I mean, what you told us probably <laughs> was. <laughs> no, it really wasn't. I really do think very highly of all of you. Yeah. I do. Um, yeah. And you I'm ever, sorry not to be continuing. It's You guys are fun to take minutes for. I just yeah. I don't have the time anymore. Yeah. Okay. And you have yeah. a good sense of humor, which yeah. we really appreciate. Well, I try. <laughs> and, you, and you say it like it is, which is what some of yeah. us really appreciate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, and you were extremely valuable and an asset to the Planning Commission when, you, when I was audit for the YouTube tip there. You were very valued. So thank you for your uh, service. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was counting our lucky stars when you showed up. Because we have advertised this position before, and we did not have any good luck. And I was like, "Man, this, this is good." You don't know of anyone. But now it's no longer good. <laughs> <laughs> I do wish I could continue. I do. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, fair, fair enough. enough. Okay, so we got to kill another five. Um, I can do the TA report or start it if you want. We can do the warrants. Or you can do the warrants. Yeah, let's do that. Pass them around. That usually takes a few minutes. It's a pretty short warrant. Pull one down and pass it around. Yeah. 
Anything we need to be concerned about? Payroll. Office supplies, a dollar fifty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish they could combine and do some Yeah, supplies. it seemed like that would be effective. It would mm -hmm. be really nice. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cemetery mowing. Extension board. Oh, Tifco. Oh, they're still around, Tifco. Yeah, they never stopped by my place anymore. We were wondering if they were still in business. But. I think we got a box today from Tifco. Those yeah. come to Guthrie. Tifco. Tifco, always, they sell hardware and stuff Sometimes like the boxes are really heavy. The local? No. Oh. It's a big company, but the salesman travels this area. Uh, like sna like Snap-on kind of thing? Kind of, but... But they not ship, like they that ship, kind ship, of... They ship everything. <clears throat> yeah. Do well, I don't know. Do they Does he have some other stuff? I'm not sure. Is it 19? 18. 18. 18. 18. 9, 18, 23. Mr. Ednar. Thank you. Yeah. Did you look over the one? Uh, yes, briefly. Oh. How's your septic all going? Not yeah. good. No, we met. We met the state, but... We what? We had a meeting with the state. Oh, up there? No. For what? No, it's not in at all. But we had a, there's a, a problem with stone that they brought me. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Too many fines in it? Happens. Yeah. Huh. So you're building that and then selling your house that you're doing? And you're going to have that? Whatever you go. Well, we have two properties in Woodbury, too. So. Oh, yeah. Wow. So. Yeah, you've been busy over at your. Uh, hmm? You've been busy. <laughs> yeah. Going crazy. There's a, lot Are you of, going crazy. there's a lot of dirt moving over in his neck of the woods right now. Oh, does he have a permit for that? Are you, are you putting in fill? Hmm? Are you putting in fill? No. I'm good. Just moving, moving dirt. Just moving. Moving around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Farms can put in fill. I've heard. Well, farms can just about do anything. Well, pretty much. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we have we done two members from the Funding Request Study Committee. Are we done with the warrants or no? Mm -hmm. Oh, we are. I have signed them yet. Oh, oh, so that's why I was wondering. I hadn't oh. seen you sign them. Oh, oh, I don't know. I apologize. So what did you do? Shortcut? That was my fault. You cut him out. I was that's right. I was trying to, try to delay things and stir it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah wow. That's, that's good. <laughs> and that's your idea of stirring it up? <laughs> I'm, a real, yeah. I'm a real radical. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I, a conservative I, radical. I, 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 that's uh, fiscally conservative radical. Yeah. Okay. Social liberal. Oh, very good. Very you, so. you have a lot of... A lot of labels. Bullshit. I, oh. No, I wouldn't I, say I that. Did, I did apologize to the select board because I jinxed it by complimenting you last time on how you were so early for the for the previous <laughs> few meetings, and then you probably said, "The hell with them, I'm coming late." No, I didn't say that. I wouldn't no, say. No, in, in your mind. No, no, the, I the would bubble, not even think. The bubble said, No, no, <laughs> I'm not coming on time. Let me so. let me gently correct you. Um, I would never even partial. I would never even think that. <laughs> <laughs> but I am really busy. I'm sure you are. Yeah. I, I wouldn't think and I was that. covered in grease, so I'm like, I better take a shower. I, yeah. I, yeah. I yeah. never yeah. think you know, come No, out of something. respect. Thank you for that. Right, exactly. Yeah. Out of respect to the rest of the board, I didn't want to come in looking like I just jumped out of uh, inside of an engine or something, which okay. I was. But So I took off the first layer of grease. <laughs> in a little cow poop, too. <laughs> and, and we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've killed a lot of time with our useless banter, plus the warrants are done. So let's move to conversation with the Funding Request Study Committee. Are you representing them? I don't know. I've just told to be here. So I'm new on the committee, and I have no idea. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Is there now... Is someone else on the committee that's tuning in here tonight? Jenny is here and Kimberly is here. Kimberly is also new. Okay. She's, she's assumed the, the Lindy Johnson position by being the TA spouse on the funding request study committee meeting. Jenny, no, Jenny's not. <laughs> uh, so Kimberly. who's taking? Kimberly. Kimberly. Okay. 
<laughs> Kimberly is taking over Lindy's position. Well, no, I'm joking. She's she's the TA spouse. There tends okay. to always yes. be a TA spouse on this <laughs> yeah, committee. Yeah, yeah, it's so. a requirement. Yeah. So who TA is the TA spouse is continuing on this committee? Who's the point person on the funding request committee? They don't really have one right now because oh. Lindy Paul was, was the. Going to be here. Who? Paul. Paul. Yeah. Okay, but he's last, not here. Last I knew. Yeah. Okay, so generally what we do is and we meet. Ginny, a, you're on mute. There. Sarah. I think Paul is planning on attending. Sarah's just joining in here. We don't have a chair, but Paul has seniority, so we're hoping he'll step up to the plate. Okay. Well, basically, it's a pretty brief meeting on what we do is we try to give uh, some gentle guidance to the funding request committee. Okay. So basically what happens is you've got to keep the request below 25000 because anything over 25000 if you get over twenty, has to be voted by paper ballot. All right. So what, what's happened in the past is several times is a request, request gets so big that you have to move it out of your out of your list, mm -hmm. right. and that gets voted separately. Okay. All right. Um, but the other thing that we've said, or you have given us, is the amount that you had last year, which was twenty three thousand something. Okay. Was that twenty two one sixty? Okay, twenty two one sixty. So you've got some room under the twenty five thousand dollar cap. Yeah. So even if you went ten percent. You'd still be under the twenty-five thousand. Okay. okay, so that's basically what we said in the past. Mm -hmm. But you know, you have to see what the requests are when they come in. All right. Right. They but, haven't come in yet, but I don't see a problem. Right. It's just that you've got to keep it below the twenty-five thousand. Mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest thing. And you are allowed to make increases if people ask them. Just keep it down. Yeah. Great. And then okay. you also could throw out some requests if the people didn't come in to represent themselves and talk about their request. Right. I mean, that is a thought. I think that's happened in the past, that somebody hasn't come in like the Red Cross that was in for a number of years and they never reached out to put their name in, in it for a request. So that does happen. Just don't automatically assume, oh, that was in last year. You know, if they don't ask for it this year, well, maybe they're out. Make sure there's a contact. Yes. Do, they, do they actually come in each year? Or they, they would, may, they usually come in to you. They, we have nothing. So it has request. to be a new application. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah they have to have a new application. Yeah. And yeah. this is why between September 11th and 12th, I emailed everyone that sent, submitted last year the application and everything for this year. So it goes to everyone. Um, in addition, there were two organizations that had previously asked for funding, did not last year. Okay. I sent those two organizations emails as well in the event that last year, some of it was lack of staffing. They just didn't have time to do it. In the event that they do have time this year, I wanted to make sure they had an opportunity. So I'm hopeful, because one of them did at least respond, I'm hopeful that perhaps they may actually submit okay. this year. So, um, and then a lot of times when I send these out, I get a kickback of an out of office, someone's not there, now there's a new person, so I change my spreadsheet, I send it to that person. So, you know, we do, we do our best, and then their deadline is October 20th to get those applications back to me. You all will meet after those applications come in. What we agreed to last year was typically I, I will place some follow-up phone calls. In the past, they've tried to do those phone calls right before the deadline. I tend to take a lot of time, or I tend to take time off around it happens to be this date because that's my wedding anniversary. Um, so I'm usually off around this time. So I told the committee last year that what I would prefer to do is let the deadline come. I can communicate with people after we'll have a slight grace period for people to maybe respond. Because what happened last year, at least, over half of them came in in that final like two days. Yeah. So they, they come flying in right up at the deadline. So to me, it's kind of better if we know we have in our back pocket a couple day deadline, I can follow up with them that Monday, put phone calls in. If we don't hear back, then we don't hear back. And typically, if they're requesting a different amount, typically an increase, 
ideally they address the committee and right. explain to you what, why they're requesting the different amount. Great. Well, I guess I could just put an application in. They and, can, yeah, and, and not, it's up to the committee. Right. Last year, if, if you know, as they're evaluating, it's going to be up to them whether right. they believe that they want to provide yeah. a different amount or they may default back. I think there was one last year they defaulted back to the previous because there was no no real information as to why there was a change in the request. So it's up to the committee. So I have a request for this year's committee, and that is that you all ask the people who are applying about the floods this year and how they, one, affected uh, their bottom line, their finances, and two, how they affected their activities. And that could be of interest for a number of reasons. Um, for something like the Kellogg Hubbard Library, which we, uh, which doesn't come to you guys, I realize we vote on that independently. Yeah. But um, for for them, uh, obviously their activities have been reduced since the flood. Um, they've been reduced for everybody who contributes to them. That's just uh, the force majeure. But uh, for the Montpelier Senior Activity Center, I've been told, and I'm, I'm looking into this, I'm having conversations about this, so um, take this with a grain of salt, but I'm, I've been told that uh, because the city of Montpelier has taken over some of the space that the Senior Activity Center has used in the past, that the number of activities that they've been able to offer to people, to members, have decreased. And I mean, Montpelier, the city uh, owns the center there is my understanding, mm -hmm. and, and they lost a lot of, uh, of room in uh, City Hall. So I can understand that they might want to do that. On the other hand, should we as a town be paying as much when the offerings for our residents are less, when less of the physical space is available to our residents? Yeah, but, there's, they're, but they're not gonna, they're not gonna go directly to the request. No, that's right, they're not coming to us anyway. Yeah. That's right. right. That's right. They're, They're coming, coming to us. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have that conversation. Yeah. So any, anyway, but uh, that that may be relevant to some of the folks who are coming to you guys. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. That is being thought. But yes, it's something to look into further. Yeah. Right. And and if you know anything about what's happening at MSAC, you know, right. please please let me know. I'm planning right, to definitely. have some more conversations they, in the next week. They sent out a newsletter today, Carl. Okay. And they said that. Uh, registrations are down about 50% for classes. Okay. They um, they have not hired a new director. They're on a hiring freeze. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're doing less and they're finding less involvement since COVID. Yeah. Okay. And they're definitely what you noted about space that other city employees' offices have had to move into that space, but their main meeting room and a number of their classrooms are still available. So they're still okay. going, but they're just not getting as much involvement. Okay, hmm. thanks for that update. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Are, do you have any questions? No. Oh, good. <laughs> Make it easy. <laughs> not that complicated, really. But if you do have any questions, just reach out to us anytime. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Especially for new people on the committee. Yeah, I you know might have to. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah? Just, sure. I just want to say thank you. I don't say thank you enough to all you good people for not sticking in there. Oh, no, you're not that good. You're right, Seth. Some of us are good. And speak some of us speak for yourself, Seth. First, good people, thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. For those that don't want to accept me, they're not good as serious. Yeah. No, that. But it was Thank you for the appreciation. Yeah. No, very much appreciated. There are times in our lives we can step in and other times we can't. I can't right now, but I'm so, I'm especially grateful to other people for um, stepping up as usual. As, and Gina, thank you. Thank you for per yeah. allowing us being so yeah. organized. I, I really appreciate it. All right. Hey, we're all in this together, and you guys are all stepping up too. This is this is a lot of legwork. This sheet here, this sheet here is a lot of stuff. This is yeah. not just. So thank you guys. All awesome. right. So you're all set. I'm all set. Thank okay. You. Good. Okay. Bye. But like I said before, we're always able to answer questions. That's great. Yeah. Thanks. <clears throat> okay. Right. Thank you. For thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Take care. Um, so the next item is conversation with Downstreet Housing Community Development. 
and this is about the assignment of the revolving loan fund balance, which we've been kicking around for a few years. We've never really used it. It's money that's come into that uh, fund from the Sandy Pines uh, payments, actually. Certain percentages come kicked back to the town, and we haven't done anything with it. So there you the go. The last meeting of the revolving loan fund committee was in 2018. So. Yeah, but then the committee disbanded, and we just had one person that was a point person for that. Mm -hmm. um, and is she here tonight? No, Rebecca's not here. We've, uh, she thinks she's pretty bogged down with her new position of the LCT. Oh. So, and we were connected, I was connected with Downstreet by the state, Cassie Bell. Okay. Um, Rebecca is aware that yeah. we were reaching out, and this would have been, Rebecca would have just been bringing Downstreet here to meet with you. So, yeah. We just moved forward with that. Yeah, Rebecca was doing a lot of work with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes? Can, can somebody give a brief explanation on the revolving loan fund? I mean, is it, is it do- We haven't done anything with it. Do residents apply for it, or is this something that we use to build- The for problem it? with I don't the know how it works. Okay, just brief so we haven't done that because we're not a bank. Right. So it's very difficult for us to have the resources to vet people that want to mm -hmm. borrow the money. So this is kind of why we've been kicking it around because we don't really know what we're going to do with it. So we're given money that we can. We've been given out. money that we could lend out if we had the capabilities of doing that. To vet. So, yeah, to vet. And, it, and we, we have and we have lent it out and we lent it out to Sandy yeah. Pines and uh, they paid it back over what 15 year period or something like that. It was a long period. It was we've since before I was on the board, maybe, could be maybe made 20 made. years. What's that? So they just finished paying that off. And uh, we have this money that's come back in that um, we're obligated to do something in the spirit of the original gift to us. With. Was this so, what was it for community development? <coughs> yeah, it's got various requirements. Right. No, I know. The Hybrid has that. We have a yeah. billion dollars. We did. Right. What is a town that's not in the banking business to vet and or administrate it? What, how did, what we did vet, they, in Harvard, we vetted and administrated it. But they've got a million dollars to work with. Well, we didn't, though. They stayed grew okay. since 1988. Okay. Because you get interest on the money and you get penalties if people don't pay, but we, had use it, we, we did vet it and we used an attorney to, to close the deals and so on and so forth. And to my knowledge, it probably just maybe one person failed to pay us back. We, we um, did plan something very much on the piece of machinery they were putting yeah. in hmm. years ago. I remember when it, it happened. It was probably 15 years ago. Okay. Yeah. So it has been Still used at various times. Right. But, but we've decided over the, over, over the last five years as our revolving loan fund committee decided uh, that it wasn't really excited about doing its work. I mean, that's maybe, I mean, yeah. maybe not quite the word for it, but well, I, I think so. That's like St. John's has yeah. a committee, a group of people that yeah. oversees it too, and they still, they, periodically have problems with yeah. it. Yeah, and we, we decided as a select board uh, with our town staff, we didn't want to be doing that work, uh, so we've been looking for someone else to uh, be administering the money for us. Yeah, because we have to do something with it. What's that? T-bills. No, this money has to go one of two places, to Downstreet or back to the state. It ha has to go out into you the community. In the meantime, it's just no. sitting there. Not it's not our money to all the interest it's that is earned goes back a, into this fund. It's, ju it's just a ledger item. It's technically it's supposed to be in its own account. It was never in its own account. For but it account. is sitting on, it, it's cash yeah. in our account? Right now, but it's not. It's in a, there's a schedule every month that it's like, correct. How much is it? 263,700. So we're authorized to lend it out to others in our community for community development, for housing. We aren't authorized to lend it to the federal government. And the goal of the select board when last this was discussed in 2022 was for this to be used for housing. At the time, Downstreet was essentially reorganizing, so it was not really eligible at the time for us to transfer the funds there. Downstreet is now eligible and approved by the state to receive funds. 
conduit for this money? Maybe this yeah. would be a good time to invite yeah, Cheryl Moyer, say, Director of Home Ownership from Downing Street, to yes. come to the committee yes. and, Please. and tell us yes. about how you might yeah. promote affordable housing in East Montpelier with this chunk of change. Uh, yes, yeah, so right, we, um, yeah, so we got it brought back in house this year. Um, we got approved last year for it. Um, and. Uh, so we um, give low to moderate income homeowners uh, mm -hmm. funding up to $20,000 to repair their homes. Um, health and safety issues, um, and we've been marketing. We actually just did a mailer with you guys, um, and we're reaching out to everyone, um, all of the town clerks within our service areas, which are Washington, Orange, and Lamoille County. Um, and we can do um, grants also depending on where their income is. It's kind of on a scaled um, income-based um, Thing. And we're actually working with one of your constituents right now um, on a rehab loan. So, um, yeah. You, could you also help with uh, the people that are needing to repair post flood? Is yes. are these funds? So, in back to the ARPA discussion from the public hearing, this was a, a very important topic yeah. to help people that to help cover these costs that right. you know other options are not helping. That mm -hmm. this may be a benefit as well. Yes, yeah, we actually just got approval about a month ago um, from ACCD, uh, who kind of oversees the state program, um, approving uh, that we can use it for people that have been affected by floods. So, um, um, but the money that we would turn over to you, that doesn't necessarily get used in East Montpelier. I mean, how does I, that work? Yeah, I think um, the normal agreement is like for the first year to three years, we would use it for um, people within uh, okay. East Montpelier. Yeah. And then after that, it would be opened up to our okay. um, service counties. So say you open it up, <clears throat> would an East Montpelier resident get priority? I mean, say three years go by, whatever, say there's $100,000 left. And then, you know, two people apply, one from East Montpelier, one from somewhere else. Would the East Montpelier resident get priority, or would it just be, you know, judged on the criteria that you would apply to anybody? Yeah, so we actually have a large enough capital right now, um, and we go in for an enhancement every year with ACCD, where we'd actually be able to probably service both of those oh. um, clients. Yeah, yeah. Um, so right now we're going in for about 20 new loans every year um, with ACCD um, to issue those loans out to people within our service counties. Um, so if we uh, turned over to you $263,700, uh, how long do you think it would take you to get it out into the, the community working for us? Uh, in East Montpelier, I bet we could probably do five to 10 loans, depending on the demand, um, mm -hmm. a year. Okay, and those are up to twenty thousand dollars. You said yes. And, yep. and is it usually at the high end of that, or where does it fall? Yes, unfortunately, okay. the cost of construction and materials has gone um, way up, and mm -hmm. so more so than not, those are actually coming in higher. The estimates, mm -hmm. right? Um, because yeah. we have to bring it up to housing quality standards, um, which is a federal government uh, re regulation, right. um, and so a lot of those scope of works that we do um, are coming in higher than the twenty thousand. Um, and then we're really looking at those health and safety um, issues. So as it gets paid off, it flows back into our account? No. no. We will no. no longer have. We are, oh. we are transferring these funds. It will pull back into the downstream account, right? Yes. For use in East Montpelier and other communities in the area after three years. So yes. there's never a time that Absolutely. we could reinstate it into East Montpelier? We I don't believe so. so. Mm -hmm. At this point, from what I've been told by the state, East Montpelier has been out of compliance for an extended period of time, which is why the choice is that these funds need to be returned to the state now or transferred to an organization like Downstreet. The, the usual requirement for that money is that it be used for something. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we used to get into big arguments about it in Hardwick about, well, one person would say, well, we like it. It's in the bank. It's good. And I'm like, yeah. you know, yeah. you, you got to use it. If you yeah. don't use it, you're going to lose it. Yeah. No, I just, I understand. Right. I just was thinking, oh, in the future, maybe there'd be <laughs> some worthy project in East Montpelier that we wanted to target specifically. But I would imagine we could, I don't know what the process was to get this established, but I would imagine at that point we could go to the state and try again well, to create yeah, a new fund. See, but see, as an example, if you wanted to build, say, senior housing somewhere, and, yeah. and you found the land, yeah. say you had 23 acres, and yeah. uh, you want, you, and you found the land, and you had, and, and you had the plan all put together and everything, you, you, go to, you go to the community development group and you ask them for funding, and you, and you go into the, you go into this just like every other town that wants money in Burlington and, Barry and Montpelier and everything, and you get your money. But uh, Harvey's got money several times. Mm -hmm. 
uh, 500,000 here, 500,000 there. Oh. Yeah, but not directly for the town. It was right. for it was for like uh, Lamar Housing Partnership. They they they've got some serious funding to you know do mobile home work to do um, low income apartments and things like that. Yeah. All right. Well, this sounds like this is a good way for us to get into compliance really quickly <laughs> to funnel the money to Downstreet. Well, it's, 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 it's a good cause. So <clears> yeah, it's a good cause. Why, why, why not? Go back. Bye bye. Yeah. What's Can that? I ask a couple ignorant questions? Sure. Um, re remember, I'm taking a lot of Benadryl, so my brain isn't <laughs> quite where it should be. But um, so you're saying that because we haven't been in compliance, we have to give the money out essentially. And is that going to close out the revol the revolving loan fund <laughs> and the loan? And there's not going to be money coming back into it. Yes, that's yeah. right. You're right. That's right. Okay. Um. So I guess that would that leads to my second question is would would there be any benefit you lost audio for a moment. Hold on. We can hear you again. <laughs> Poor thing. Um so my second question was if there was no um, necessity for the loans for coming back, is is there some necessity maybe in the community for people to maybe po p potentially receive grants instead of loans? Like, are there some people that are so low income that could benefit from receiving, for applying for money that didn't necessarily have to be paid back? For home improvement. It sounds like that's what you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what I got out of what you said. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 We, oh, okay. okay. Loans and or grants. Yeah, yeah. Right. Where their yeah, that's, that's my understanding. Absolutely. Okay, great. Thanks for clarifying. That's what I thought, but then um, I wasn't sure if it was just loans or also grants for people that couldn't necessarily afford to pay back. But, yeah, yeah. And we also do deferred um, loans as well for people. Yeah. That, yeah. In the middle income or whatever. Correct. Yeah. yeah. They have to meet certain levels of income. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. We on. do income, yeah. debt to income gotcha, ratios. Gotcha. Yeah. And yeah, anyone that yeah. We would put them over 45, we would do a deferred. Yeah. So have we seen any paperwork for you <clears throat> on what we sign under to assign this money to you? No. I think that once approval, it would go to, back to the state and they would re. Yeah, we can work with Cassie Bell at the state once I have the motion. And that, that's something Michelle and I have to figure out then how we facilitate getting the funds right. transferred. So I'm wondering how to word the motion so that we specify that uh, the money will be for three years um, reserved for East Montpelier residents mm -hmm. under the stewardship of Down Street. Uh, should we just authorize the town administrator to... Um, to do the transfer under those conditions? Would, yeah. would that work? Town administrator or and or treasurer. Okay. It could be Michelle's actually. Okay. So you have to sign the funds to Downstreet, I believe. What? You put out some sort of, over the next few months, some sort of um, publicity or something that, hey, this is money available for East Montpelier residents. So most people know about this or? That was gonna be my next question was, you know, we have a meeting room space. I'm <clears> sure <throat> that we could maybe work to, together to even schedule if there's an info session hey come to this maybe Absolutely. downstreet could be here yeah certain time period I, we can work through that and mm -hmm. working with the town clerk as well but you know we can maybe get the word out absolutely to yeah. our residents and mm -hmm. yeah. absolutely 100 percent. yeah and we can do more envelope stuffers yeah. or um advertising we are um we did receive some money from accd to do more marketing around the program in general yeah. um so we're hoping to continue that yeah yeah i think the key is for east montpelier residents to take advantage of this is to get the word out to yeah. the residents mm -hmm. right yeah. okay so we should make a motion your motion I move to authorize the town administrator and the town treasurer to work with Down Street to assign the balance of the town revolving loan fund to Down Street to be used in at least the first three years for loans and grants for affordable housing in East Montpelier. How's that? Okay. I'll second the motion. 
All of them, oh, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. I don't have enough information to go completely public with this yet, but um, speaking of publicity of downstreet stuff, uh, stay tuned for a downstreet person to be on the radio and at the local Grange talking about home ownership as soon as he gets authorization from the powers that be. Or maybe you are the power that bees. I'm one of them. Okay. <laughs> is, Absolutely. Is there authorization for that? Can we talk about it publicly or not? Not yet, okay. um, but I, my approval is there. I'm just waiting for the second <clears throat> approval. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And we also pulled in our marketing um, yeah. uh, director as well. Okay. But yeah. Very good. Sounds so to be announced soon. <laughs> okay. Sounds like that's good. good. Yeah. 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 A good decision to make and it's going to help out a lot of people so that's a good thing mm -hmm. okay well, thanks for your work system. and thanks for coming in yeah thank you for i gotta go feed some kids but okay. thank you guys um, <laughs> so much for um, inviting thank you for coming in thank yeah. you thank appreciate you. it take care um so the next item is discuss the arpa public hearing and as you all are aware of we have some requests, requests and ideas um, that we probably ought to zip through. Um, mm -hmm. Gina sent out a long email about these items, and uh, I hope you all read it. And you're you're got talking up to speed. about what's in the um, select board report, the memo. Yep, yeah. that was in an email. Mm -hmm. Leaving uh, items. <coughs> so, if you want to go down through them. Or I don't know how you want to start. I just listed here what was mentioned mm -hmm. um, yep. by those yep. in attendance. Um, the town lister made a few requests that I think there's yep. just more. One, the fire rated filing cabinet. I would just like to get a little more information. Those are extremely heavy and extremely expensive. Yeah. Not we tend to take the approach in the town office of important documents are housed yeah, in the right, vault. Right. The vault is considered our yeah fireproof. So cabinet. I'm not really sure that yeah. that's a worthwhile expenditure mm -hmm. for um, the town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and um, up, why I was thinking about it as soon as I, when I read this, why can't they store their documents in our vault? Well, or the other question is if they're so important, I, it would be more cost effective to seek offsite storage that has. Secure. Yeah, that's a secured storage through Secure Shred, who we are already kind of working with on that, that could safeguard documents. It's just they're very heavy. Even when I reached out to office environments, there's a lot of stipulations on even who they will sell those to because of the weight of those. Um, you can't have any steps. You can't. Ah. Our ramp was a little questionable as to whether they would even consider that okay to, to get it in here. Wow, so. Joy sag. Um, <laughs> So anyway, the laptop was something we had already discussed yeah. at a meeting, and you had already denied that request. Yeah. So yes. I think that one is already mm -hmm. resolved. Yeah. And the large, large format printer scanner, the scanning of the mylars is really being held up by that. That machine yeah. is currently a gigantic brick. Um, yeah. It's not working. It was moved here for a period of time. I don't know what has gone wrong with it. I have spent a number of hours on it already and basically had to drop that on my priority list. Um, so I'm currently struggling with the cost just to get Canon out here to look at it and whether that's even worth it. Canon told me while it's a 2019 machine and that doesn't seem old, that's very old for technology. So the words of the Canon rep were, you could spend upward to $1,000 on it and not have a functioning machine when Canon leaves. So never got used right now. Thing. It was used to scan these. That was it, to yeah. scan the mylars. So they want the mylars to, they want to scan them and full size. produce full-size maps. Right. Why don't you just go to Staples and have them made or go to a copy center? Right. It gets difficult because some of these mylars are very old. They're in the vault. You don't really, when you're yeah, removing them out. Yeah. yeah. It's, so that's... Rosie and I have discussed some different options. Mm -hmm. Another option is to repair that machine or replace it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. again, I, you know... <clears throat> Yes. This has been out of service for how long? Since Bruce left. And what have they been doing in as a replacement or in, in lieu of or not in lieu of? Just I not. believe when they need to photocopy them, they just 
Make it pieces. Yeah, yeah do it in pieces and tape stuff. them together. Three yeah. Letters. I understand. I'm just curious yeah. on it's been. They've been probably it's doing sexualizing it. Yeah. Like she said. Yeah. Making tape them together. But it's, it is. It's cri it is critical. Well, ideally, what would be nice, especially with the old ones that we have in the vault, it would be great to digitize those. Digital records are great to and have. Um, it's just really a matter. I did get some pricing from Canon. I just it again fell off of my radar a bit. Replace it just like I think we're given that. Or well, we could lease one. I would be more of a proponent oh. of leasing with a service contract sure. as opposed. The problem yeah. with this one was yeah. I thought I was hope I thought it had a service contract. Every other machine does. It was not purchased with a service contract. I think we're given it or something. Or it, was it was a grant. It was a grant. It was a grant. Yeah. Zoe. Oh yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say that. And another option could be some people are using like high quality digital cameras or not even high quality, but digital cameras for archiving now. Um, and then you can piece, you know, take section, take photographs of sections and then, you know, tape them together in the computer. Um, just in case, you know, it's probably pretty a big machine that Canon and it might be more cost effective in the long run to use a digital camera, maybe. Just Maybe another option. Outsource this. Mm -hmm. um, I think you can find something. I mean, I, I even have a, a device that will take a picture. It's, it can act like a online <clears throat> whiteboard and stuff, but you can also just put take pictures of documents. So yeah. an important thing with the mylars so is not to get any of the parallax from a camera lens, but the software might be good enough these days that it can adjust for mm -hmm. that I don't mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. I've seen mm -hmm. indications of that just for stuff for the my phone mm -hmm. but I, I don't know the specs I but it's worth it, looking into I just taken my, my, my designs for my house and septic system and all that I just took it down to Staples and said hey copy mm -hmm. these for me how many mylars are we talking about I don't know but she, she said a priority though was the last the ones done in the last year or two so they could get those mm -hmm. those in a file somewhere mm -hmm. so just to play the devil's advocate and I do this at the farm a lot. I have <laughs> them come, I have them come <laughs> fix it. Or no, I have machines. Oh. Of them. Oh. Yeah. They say it's a thousand dollars to fix it. I'm like, okay, come fix it. Yeah. And then we have. So yeah. but it could be something it. simple. But you they know, may not be able to fix this. You don't know. But they may. It's a crap it, it, right. They I might come in here and it's five minutes. Oh, it was out of level and trip something and blah yeah. blah. Yeah. yeah. It's the kind of crap that happens with machinery all the time. Yeah. yeah. I want to get pricing on a new one. It just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was in the process of doing that, and yeah. then the information got stale, and then, yeah, like yeah. I said, it's it fine. fell off the radar. Um, I'd like to get pricing on what would it be if we replaced it and leased one. Um, that being said, too, we also have very limited real estate in this office. It yeah. does take up a lot of room. Yeah. yeah. I think it's worth looking into what other options sure. as well yeah. may be there for us to digitize yeah. these. If that is the main thing we're using them for, we don't tend to print plans and I don't believe that was what I believe the ink ran out because people were printing to it by accident I don't believe they were <laughs> printing to I took care of that situation but um, I don't believe that was really what it was being used for so it just seems like an awfully big machine to have to just scan if there's another option for us yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, if, the, if, it, so. if the priority is to preserve the things in the mylar it's, I think that that machine is possibly becoming out of date for preserving in terms of digitalized. Digital. Like 15,000 just, yeah. <laughs> just to do a quick. <laughs> yeah. I think most people use these really for printing more than scanning. And you know, right. if we needed large, we can, well, I would say we could go to Capital Copy, not right now. Right. Um, but you know, their the, the drawing board is. Oh, good. So there will be an option too, because I was thinking. There they are an option, yeah. The only thing and Rosie doesn't there. like is Avenue no. wants to take oh, things off site to do. She's Where nervous about that, but if it's just, oh wait, there. agreed. Yeah. Oh, there's one there. The yeah. Minuteman. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. So there are options to print. I don't know that we would. Yeah. It's fine. So anyway, that's what's going on with that. Perfect. Yeah. So part, part of that decision making, it would be helpful to know how if, if this is a one time process for digitizing existing mylars, it'd be helpful to know how many of those are. If there's a hundred of them and it costs five bucks a piece to do them somewhere else, let's take them out of here, do them yeah. in a, a week or a day or, or whatever it takes. Or whatever. Yeah, 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 right. And it does take up a lot of room, to your point. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, those are fragile. Though. Yeah, we're tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Okay, sounds good. Sounds like you're on top of it.
So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Um, so Jenny mentioned during the meeting, Jenny Callen, uh, about nonprofits needing help. And as you recall, I think only Twin Valley, they yeah. came to us, it's been a long time now, right. um, with ARPA funding and a request. Mm -hmm. I think it would be helpful if we put out a public request if the board would like to consider use of ARPA funds or see what need is in the community from our nonprofits to have them come to a certain meeting in the future. So I wanted to float that idea with you. Yeah. Um, you know, Twin Valley, that was just by chance that Gene Troya had reached out to us. Right. Um, that and situation came to a probably meeting. already got fixed. Actually. And I think it did, but yeah. that doesn't mean that they may not have other need along yeah. with the mo any other organization in town. I think putting a public yep. post out, if, if you are interested in potentially allocating some of those funds to local nonprofits could be helpful. Okay. So we can target a future meeting. We can. We probably should put it out sooner than later. We, so. I, I raised the question of, of uh, you know, how do we get this information out to them? Um, we've, we've, uh, and what I heard back last time was, Hey, we had this, that hearing, um, yeah, so they had they had, they had an opportunity. Chance, right? yeah, I know, I know. yeah, but maybe it wasn't specific enough. That's and, what I feel like a very yeah. specific. Yeah. Are you a local nonprofit? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It, it'll be a front porch forum post, right. posting right. on the website, yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. Come to this meeting is what I'm envisioning, yeah. and talk to us if someone thought the public right. hearing was more for residents and not for nonprofits. Exactly. I think right. that's a good you know. Idea. Yeah. And you, um, you mentioned you'd already, the day that we had our last meeting or the day before, you'd already blasted out uh, to the folks uh, submitting to the funding request study committee. But um, would it be, uh, if it's email, is it a simple email list that you could blast out this information to them too? About, um, about a new meeting? I think that's very broad. A lot of yeah. those organizations are not directly, I mean, the, the gist I got from the public hearing was mm -hmm. specifically speaking about East Montpelier. Mm -hmm. Most of those organizations are not East Montpelier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so okay. I was more planning just a very blanket okay. yeah. front porch forum type post that's okay. targeted to the community. Yeah, I think it's so, a good idea. Okay. And yeah. I think that may get confusing to mix this with the funding request. I really don't want people to get confused know, about okay. what agree. they're doing. Right. I think it's a good idea. But I think we should do it. Doesn't hurt. You're exhausting. You're exhausting all of the avenues. Yeah. That everybody had the opportunity to come and and put a proposal in or mention it. Yeah. But, and if they don't, they don't. But Gina's um, point is, it's more specific. I agree. To the nonprofits. No, I agree. So why right. why not? So yeah. what would that be? Would that be like this last time, where it'd be a hearing in association with a select board meeting? No, I think it needs to be a specific request. It does not have to be. A I was just meaning it more of an agenda item. We're going to target maybe maybe we target the second October meeting or yeah. something like that to give people time, or maybe we go into a November meeting. Mm -hmm. um, no, I do it sooner. I I I like it sooner versus later sooner. because then we don't know. It one organization could show up with right. one request or. Mm -hmm. 10 could yeah and you're needing to hear everyone out and make a decision so yeah. we don't know the dollar magnitude could be that there's there it's impossible to know yeah. what a request could be right now i think making the effort's important so yeah. we'll just have to i think we should do it sooner than later could you so tell in that context could you tell us about this last bullet point in the select board memo about um the ARPA funds needing to be spent or committed via ex executed contract and it's, grant it's, programs are not. It's everything that I've been saying <laughs> when yep. we've talked about this. Right. And I happened to have coffee with Katie Buckley last week and ARPA came up and she said, yes, the federal government is being more specific now and ensuring that everyone is very clear that when we say committed, it doesn't mean we're going to spend it on this. It means you have a contract with Joe Smith that says yeah. you're going to spend $50,000 on something. It's an executed contract yeah. that he is legally binding to both parties. Mm -hmm. So some of these ideas, while they sound great mm -hmm. to create a grant program to do, number one, who's going to do it? 
Number two, how quickly is it all going to get done? And number three, that really wasn't what ARPA was designed for. It wasn't to set up grant programs. So I'm it confused. Was, it was in response to COVID. I'm confused then because we were just talking about having a meeting to bring in nonprofits. To that would be giving, give that's them giving them money just like we did for CD a specific Fiber. project. Yeah. And do they have to do that project within the no. ARPA? No. We're, you're they giving have to do them money just like CV Fiber. Yes. Yes. By 26. They have, to spend, it. They have to spend it within the time. Okay. Yeah. By okay. 26, two, two years from yeah. the date. They so it has to be stipulated, too, within the... Yeah, and do we want to put in a clawback me. provision, then, if they haven't started by a certain amount of time? Or is that the government claws the, it back? The yeah. clawback is really... That's not going to work. By December 21st, 31st of 2024. I mean, we have we have limited time yeah. here. We talked yeah. about that with CB Fiber because we we did not want to yeah. get in a situation where they were not following up on it, and the uh, federal government asked for the money back from us, and we couldn't get it back from CB Fiber. So if we're going to be giving this out to other organizations, we need to be thinking about the same because dynamic. If they don't give it back to us then we're going to get clawed back. Yeah. 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 They're going to claw from yeah. us. Right. Let, let me, ask, yeah. let me yeah. ask Katie Buckley about the specifications so let's for... Let's be careful here. That's what for I mean. non-profit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just see. Okay, so do you want to reach out to Katie Buckley? Yeah, let me, we, let me confirm okay. with her first what we need to be worried about there, and yeah. then we'll go from there. Okay. How many non-profits do we have... In East Montpelier, not really right then, that are Twin City. I mean, domiciled here. Twin Valley, but other than that, oh, I don't know. I actually, I'm looking at well. I know a dairy farm right around the corner that's a nonprofit. So you're a five hundred one. You're a five hundred one. No, I, I mean, try to operate we, <laughs> profitably. We, we probably have scores of them that we aren't aware of. Yeah. Like Michael Bender's Mercury Project. How how often does that come up here? Yeah, yeah. Hmm? But I think he, he works internationally some. as a nonprofit working on mercury safety. There's probably some that we don't know about, but yeah. I don't but, think there's but, scores. Okay. But uh, we, we'll, we can always scrub it. Yes. It, it needs to be, it yeah, can't yeah. be something. Yeah, yeah. You're I'm right. looking at battery design exactly. in whatever. Exactly. Yeah, we. I think we can ideally they're coming that. with a very specific request. Yes. We need to. ADA enhancements to a building, you know, and we're going to do it in the next three months. Yeah. This is what it's going to be. It's going to cost X amount of money. Domiciled in East Park, yeah. yeah. But, but let me check in on around. the specifications. We're not going to dilly dally that. around waiting for people to right. come up with ideas. Right. That's oh, what, that, that's oh. why it should be a very short. Right. Well, keep in mind, really, the crux of ARPA funds was in response to COVID. Yeah. And yeah. it was to help municipalities with expenditures and to improve that's why we're spending money on it infrastructure it yeah. was yeah. it was to help yeah. people yeah. get into you know make improvements to their infrastructure yeah. mm. that that was the water sewer was one of the primary ones yeah, yeah. absolutely right. so i had an infrastructure improvement that we, uh, i thought about since then that we've been talking about for a while and have not made any decision on because of the cost and that is speeding is an issue perennially here and we've talked about getting one of those radar connected signs that shows how fast you're going that apparently has an effect in slowing down cars and we've been stymied by what we've been told is a cost uh, but I've seen such small ones now out there um, that you know some of them aren't much bigger than than speed limit signs themselves and I got to think that the cost has probably come down on those but who knows but anyway any that seems like a worthwhile investment of, of ARPA money. Well, we keep hearing from townspeople they want cars to go slower. Here's an opportunity. Yeah, it's true. And there are, and a lot of towns have them now. Yeah. A lot. So you could yeah. take that, you could, uh, if you could offload something within the town budget, you could use town budget money to buy one of those. No. No. Where you'd have to do it. Yeah. I right. Well, mm -hmm. I think you could buy something You're, like this and directly charge it to ARPA. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This yeah. is actually on my list. I would like to bring Washington County to discuss ideas for speeding. We're currently looking into, at this point, it'll be next summer, but speed bumps for Center Road. Center Road's a... <laughs> you just got all the speed bumps. Center Road, Center Road is easier to address it. because it is a 25 mile per hour section of road. County Road, I believe, is our bigger problem. It's more yeah. difficult to address when it's a 40 mile. I, mm. I've been passed on County Road like three times in the last like month. So um, it's it's a problem. I drive County Road quite a bit, so I'm well aware of it. Um, 
Well, getting back to Carl's idea, that's actually a pretty good idea. It I mean, is. A lot of towns are putting in a lot. Yeah. I mean, I drive around a lot, yeah. and I'm like, oh, they put in one of those signs. Yeah. 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 And, and maybe we would likely need a few on County Road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and these ones in the past, they've been portable, and you haul them around with a trailer. But the, the new smaller ones, no. maybe we can just put them on a pole. And no, they are. No, yeah. I would I would rather permanent. Mm-hmm. Oh, permanent. Seems Somebody will do yeah. something to yeah. a temporary yeah. one. Yeah. You just put them up. People that's the third day on County Road and ignore it. Which is the question why I would like to speak with Washington mm-hmm. County to determine what the long-term right. impact yeah. is yeah. of those. Yeah. Because, yes, right. in, in my experience more. in a prior where I used to live, Nobody even saw them at a certain point in time. Zone, yes. Yes. You put it in 25 mile. Yes. You put it to 40 mile an hour. Okay. Let me see if I can just put it at 55. It in seems my like opinion, and I'm not. I don't. The Washington County, though, on sitting there and giving people tickets, might work. I saw someone pulled over in East Montpelier. It was yeah. on Cherry Tree Hill. But yeah. Really. They were. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> No, I, it, I, I had happened to have seen that same deputy patrolling earlier that day and then later was on Cherry Tree Hill and that deputy had a car pulled so over with their lights well, on. Well, that is a fact. Hmm? Pulling people over and giving people tickets is a fact. I've, yeah. I've only seen it on Cherry Tree Hill as well, the only place in East Montpelier. It was probably the same day. Yeah. Well, let's, um, let's finish so up this seen, agenda item. So, so I will follow up with okay. Katie to find out what specifically we need to make sure that the nonprofits right. do before we get into before communication. We <laughs> so um, then we will go from there. Yeah, sounds good. It's now, just something that it is important, and we all knew that from dealing with CV Fiber that it's this isn't just a blank check to do yeah. with, you know, there's definitely stipulations around right. it. And the last thing we want to do is commit funds that then... So before we move, are we going to move off from Marpa here? In no, I wanted to finish it up. Okay. We have the housing concerns addressed by Ms. Kivit Carpenter. Kyler. What's it's that? Ms. Carpenter. Carpenter. It'll, it's a change of the name. Uh, oh. The wrong Renee. Yeah. May benefit from the downstreet discussion, so we're showing. I think, yeah. yeah. I down- think that's perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Me too. And a significant amount of funds as yeah, well. Yeah, I just want to touch on this. We've, is, we've addressed the concerns. We definitely have. Mm-hmm. So... I think we're done with the yep. ARPA. Mm-hmm. I just I just wanted to mention that we're having a CIC meeting sometime was it Tuesday. Tuesday? And I won't be able to make it. Okay. But the the thing is uh, well, on the agenda item is is, is capital expenditures, which yes. is part of this is is you know, we were talking about paying uh, funding some of the costs of the town of Rarge. Yeah, and I'm supposed to. We're supposed to go to that meeting with some kind of ideas or direction from the select board. So I was just wondering, do you have any direction? And CIC is a capital improvement committee. Yes. Correct. Well, that's a thought. <laughs> it's a possibility, but we do have the meeting of the wetlands people at eight thirty on Friday. The town garage is technically, technically not even on that plan. No, because we've never filled out a form to give it to. Them. Mm-hmm. Mm, I did. Last year. Last year you did when he said you didn't. A couple years ago. So I don't anyway. So I I always tend to go to this meeting without like. Why don't you fill it out? No, it's it's definitely a possibility. Why don't you fill it out? We did already. I filled out. She did last year. Right after. Okay, yeah, I know. After I I started. Is there anything else that we needed to think think about as far as capital cost? Sorry, I kind of jumped in on this. Yeah, you did kind of. But it kind of needs a direction for our meeting. Yeah. Well, highway garage. You're going too, right? Mm. Are you going to be gone? No? Not I will vacation? be gone. I will be at town fair. I told the chairman I could not make that meeting. Okay. You need a lot. So, I'm like a deer in a headlight now. <laughs> so besides the highway garage, which I, right. I guess you haven't discussed, have you discussed They that? don't have enough information to yeah. discuss that right now, honestly. I mean... Okay. Right, and it's not a capital improvement. The, the upkeep on the garage going forward for years would be on, could go in front of that committee. Building of the garage is not, yeah, um, is. Is, is not a topic for the capital improvement committee. It's, the, it's keeping the maintenance of the garage well, it would be a line cost. on. Capital cost, capital cost, cost. constructing that yeah. building is a capital cost. It sure is. It's, 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 it's going to be more than 50 years, years, and it's over a significant amount of money. Maybe well, if we, take a, if we take a bond down, I guess. That's but right. We, we, we would have I mean, to. You, well, I'm new to the committee, but it's usually what 
how much allocation of funds do we need for the sidewalks? How much do we put aside every year for the X amount of roads? Right. For this building, so we're going to need... Or how much are we going to put aside for this building if we decide to build a new one? Yeah, how much are you going to put aside for paving the roads? That's a capital cost. That's capital cost. Right. My point is you're building a garage within the next 18 months. So you're going to allocate $900,000 and put that in the capital budget? Well, it is. Budget? It's, it's a little late for... That's a capital. If we're going to do it quickly, yeah. Well, that's, that's my point. Yeah. But it is a normal, that is a capital cost. Uh, sure I agree. Yeah. If we were to put a building in 10 years. Well, if we started, when we started this thought of the capital improvements, I agree. and we put in that, I, then you'd have a I'm fund. not disagreeing with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's my point. Yeah. Input and select board input review, whatever that is. So that's me. That's me. Okay. Uh, I'll try okay, to get my if I need this cancel. Any other capital um, I mean, thoughts? Town is, for? is due to be repaved. Mm -hmm. So well, we have we yeah. applied for a grant this year. We did not get that grant. Um, Guthrie agreed, punt it for a year. We'll try to apply for a grant again next year. But certainly that's something that could be on that plan. That's it is. technically something it we is could also. It is a plan. Yeah, that's also technically something we could use. But I think that's part of what they need to do in this process is look at the dates. Some of the dates yeah. are yeah. line them up with what we think is really gonna happen. So well, then that's what happened to show for the capital. Then their plan will flow out. So that's initially what happened when we started that plan was we try to estimate when all these costs were going to happen. Mm -hmm. And we got a pretty um, pessimistic view of the paving at that point. So the paving was put in, there's a lot of money in the paving line right now because we haven't done the replacement or the repaving on the timeline that we were suggested. The paving lasted longer. Mike Green said, oh, it's only going to last seven years. Well, some of the roads have been 12 years. And it depended on the road. Yeah, some it depends them. on the road and also because we just did oh, shim. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. We did the shim and overlay. It worked really well. The roads were horrible when I got this in on the psych board. Long term planning. Is my, that was my it's an estimate. You know, you're like, that's, yeah. I agree. You're that's throwing, you know, does a stick. That's why we wanted the line item for the sidewalks. So on the ARPA funding, at one point some months ago, we were saying, you know, we could probably sink most of that into expenses that we've yeah. already incurred yeah and is that still an option for us or have we learned something well new we that did use that i mean that, we, we, the vast we've majority been doing the 176,000 yeah. of it we yeah. used to cover and really that money is currently kind of sitting in the arpa bu bucket which i need to get the treasurer mm -hmm. to work on shifting that over into the capital reserve yeah. um so I mean, we've already done some of that. That's right. why I brought things like ash tree management right. that we should be spending, but that's only going to get us for this year unless unless we could somehow contract for the 20 fiscal 26. Um, that's pretty hard to do. Yeah. But, you know, it it gets, yeah, it starts to get sticky. Yeah, yeah. So I've, um, I've had the sense that we've been holding back on doing more of that because we wanted to give room for using this one-time monies for big projects that you know, we, we want, wouldn't otherwise have. Yeah. But yeah. if we don't have a lot of those, if the town garage slides too far into the future, we don't get a lot of big applications from the nonprofits and so on, we still have capacity within the budget to absorb the ARPA funds that way? Well, I think you can do a go around where you, as you spend the money, you take your general expense money that you have and you shift it. We talked about that. Too. Right. Yes. Yes. That it's a shell is, game. It's a shell yeah. game. Yeah. I think you can still do right. that. Mm -hmm. Right. We can. Um, so that's a fallback plan yeah. in my estimation. Yeah. But okay. But yeah. Right ideally, now, it would be nice to start yes. moving forward on other items because, yeah. you know, it. Yeah. At some point, then we're just building a bucket that, once again, we're not really doing anything with. Right. But so. the highway right. garage is kind of on the top of This is a highway office. garage, and then there's the town offices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a little far off. I mean, it's... But clearly, I mean, for the CIC committee. Yes. The, C, <clears throat> the, the thing is, like you said, is how much money is it going to cost? So you don't really have any idea. We bought land over here that we could use for a town office. So we have the land to build a town office if we so chose. 
Um, right. But the highway garage is more of a priority, I think, um, because that building is definitely needing to be bigger. We've established some priorities there. The town office will get us by for a while. Um, so that's kind of what I'm, what I think. Except if you buy a, a giant mylar printer that you can't fit in this building. That's right. Otherwise, you're, you are so wise. I didn't <laughs> think of that. <laughs> that's that's really the major issue why we need a new building or not. Oh, that's true. Yeah. God, you're such head of the class. Astute. Head of the class. Astute. Astute. Just put and frugal at the same time. Realistically, <laughs> while I think the town garage is a higher priority, <laughs> the building certainly is small. Yeah. Isn't sufficient really to yeah, if yeah. effectively hold the staff as it is today. All of our IT equipment resides in a basement, which, yeah. which is, is concerning. Um, so, you know, there are certainly reasons why, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. it would certainly be smart to get into a different building to have our IT equipment above ground. Um, but I... Do we, do we want to look at feasibility for that? I mean, certainly we could, but... What do you mean, making one building? Well, what we should have done is when the fire department proposed their building, we should have put it stock, bigger. It's not even a possibility to do a town garage yeah. slash town hall offices? Where, is that just where is that the just the current garage is located would not be a no, that's not good location where where this where the potential for the garage is going to be Correct. we're building no, a new garage you couldn't put a town no a i mean yeah you could but it's way it's off the east no. it's an east bump fuck where's the potential location <laughs> this is this is what's that where, where no, the town garage. garage is oh on templeton road yes yeah. Yeah. oh it's too far out of the way so that's that's, that's a wetland issue they yeah. claim it is. I don't see how it is. I don't know yet. We're going to know on Friday. On the state map, it appears to be. Oh, I, I take that. I walk on that trail sometimes. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, it seems kind of high, but oh, okay. So yeah. I thought it was somewhere here. No. No, no. No, no there I, is. Obviously, you can't put So we have the here. property that Guthrie is now moving off of. Yes. And that could be an add on for town garage mm -hmm. or an adjunct building that we could use for storage that town highway equipment could go in that we're only using seasonally. There's that thought that that would be a really good idea. But on um, the town garage, the town okay. office building potentially could be right across here where we bought that piece of land right. that we have gravel. Yeah, right right. Right. Yes, yeah. yeah, we have land that we retained out of the Pearl right. purchase. Right. We no, sold off part of it and we kept part of it. I, so, I, I don't know why I don't know why I didn't realize where the actual I thought the location was here somewhere. Okay. Well, we that also we have a possibility of you know if we just have two little room here we could put an addition. Not um, really. No, are, there's not really we, much space. Are we too close to the boundary lines? Well, it takes on water for one thing. Yeah. Um, and there's no really place to go with it. You know, you go with that way. I mean, where the picnic tables are. There's... That'd be pretty hard to do. Yeah. And it, like I said, a lot of water flows this way. Uh, the slope of the roof is this way. We get the just, IT equipment out of the basement. It'd be it'd be a pretty Mickey Mouse addition to put something on there that would actually work well over the long term. In my estimation, it's not much room here. So we barely have enough room for parking. You know. So for our meeting, the CIC meeting. Yes. Um, <laughs> do you, do you think do we have a capital line line item for for? A new town, a new town office. No. Why don't we just set aside some money every year, like take ten thousand bucks? You could. You that, have could go, that would go towards our architectural work. You have a maintenance. Line I was going to ask about the same. You do, That's you not could. the same. I know yeah. it's not. The capital item is in the capital budget, okay. and the other one's in the operational budget. Okay. So it should be in the capital budget. And once you put it in ten thousand in this year, it's not a raise in the budget next year because it's the yeah. same amount going in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you get the ten thousand going in. Yeah. What are you going to use it for? Architectural services, engineering services, yeah, yeah. wetland delineation. Yeah, yeah. You know everything that we're doing right now in the town garage, we could be doing that. So do I get a consensus at that? Yes, talk about sure that at the next meeting. Yes, sure. And we have to see those every year. I mean, it's a long-term project, but it's good to get it on. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because we didn't do it at the town highway garage. So I should probably fill out the form. Yeah. <laughs> sure. There was a form. You know, for, okay. the town, for the town offices too. There was one for both. Oh, good. Then we're all set. If it was either on one form or so, two forms. So it's probably been a year now. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, let's. Can I move the meeting along? Is that please, a thought? Please. Okay. 
So the town administrator report would, is next on yeah, the agenda? So we've already discussed that there's a preliminary wetlands review on Friday. Um, so that will be I'm, the- I'm planning to go. Yeah. The first look. I've got, I got like 45 minutes to be there. I don't know how long she plans to be there. Do, I don't know. Just okay. keep in mind, I, I had sent it to Seth. Yeah. And yeah. so if there's three of you that could- That's then, a meeting. Then we, then we just need to notice pose it. Pose a challenge, so. Yeah. It's, yeah. We just post a notice somewhere. Okay. The way we do with fire department meetings. Yeah. But, um, but I heard you were intending not to go, John. Is no, I'll hard? go. I, I would like to go. Okay. I think Seth, you are you go. going? I'm going. Yeah. So yeah. could we just ask you to post it the way that fire I've department I've never meetings? noticed the fire department meeting when oh, there's okay. three. Well, because it's not. That's not your meeting. It's not yeah, a meeting. Yeah, it's not our meeting. What, what, we're just attending the meeting. What the, pre what the previous town it. administrator used to do for these things where we got together and discussed town business, but we weren't making any votes, he, he made a distinction between noticing them and warning them, and I don't remember the technicalities. I, he never that. briefed me on that. When I started okay. here, you all attended a fire department meeting, and he did not yeah. do that, nor tell me that that was part of the process. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're not going to make any decisions here. We're just right. informational. No. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'd be curious to go and look and learn, but obviously, I know the number. We do that with. Well, you can do that because there's already three of us going, so four doesn't really matter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not a meeting, though. I. I mean. I'll put it in an email. I'll I'll do sure. some research tonight or put it in an email. Okay. Tomorrow. Yeah. She might, um, she might have been related. She sees this very coming. Huh? Yeah. Well, we can always sit in our vehicles and go get out one by one. Yeah. So that she's not doesn't have a herd of people to confront initially. Hey. What do you think of that idea? <laughs> okay, so let's go on to the rest of the town administrative report. The FEMA site inspection for our four locations that um, qualify for site inspections will be on Tuesday. Um, Guthrie will be fielding that with the FEMA people. Okay. It will be an almost all day event from what I understand. They take a lot of measurements and oh. all sorts wow. of, it's really, they'll ask him a lot of questions. They've already given him all the forms that includes all the questions they will be asking and okay. we will tour them on the locations. Okay. Uh, two zoning permits since, well, not since your last meeting, really since two meetings ago. Uh, a replacement of a deck and construction of an enclosed shop and carport. I am out of the office on Thursday, Friday, and Monday, and technically out as well on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week at town fair. Okay. And that's it. And I've, I've looked over my VLCT emails. I have not seen anything about the legislative agenda. And I'm thinking, uh, we talked to you, Zoe, that that would be something that was coming up. I'm thinking that I misremembered that that's something that comes up only every second year. Oh. So before each biennium. Uh, but if anybody, if I've missed any emails on, on that, and you guys have seen, seen it, that in the business, no, okay. So that's, no, that's nothing we need to worry about. Okay. Um, is there anything, anything else? Uh, no. We've got You've a, done a lot of talking on other things. We've got a board of tax appeal meeting on Thursday. <laughs> so select board members wearing a different hat. Yeah. Thursday? Yeah. What time is it? What time is it? I don't remember. I'll Can be working that night. Um, I'm not coming. If it's sunny out, no. you weren't at the first one, so um, no, I wasn't either. Yeah, I wasn't. so I, I think it's less important for yeah, even less appropriate to oh, yeah, good. It's not appropriate to attend. Yeah. Yeah. Same with me. Six thirty. Six thirty. I just want to know. No inappropriate. Is this supposed to be right? Huh? Is it? Is there going to be a video option? I don't know. Oh my God! I hope so. Can we look at that? I thought she set up a Zoom. I would like to. I remember difficulties, technical difficulties with the Zoom last time. So, yes, there was um, a Zoom last see, time. See if, it's, see if it's possible, just because it's not going to be a two hour meeting. And just, these are starting to screw up my happy hours. <laughs> God forbid. Why? I miss my happy hours. Then. Look how grumpy he is. I know. <laughs> you yeah. can tell. You don't look very happy. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. So that doesn't that, look real. Is that all of the town administrator report? That is it. Okay. I move we adjourn. Second. Any further discussion? Oh no, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> all those in favor, please say aye. 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 aye.